All right, man, peace. So, brothers, I stated in the aftermath of the Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz upset for three out of the four major belts in the heavyweight division that I believe that one of the main reasons why Anthony Joshua was not successful was that it was very apparent to me that his outlook on training is not quite where it needs to be. He's way too muscle bound. He clearly does not work hard enough on his craft, both offensively and defensively, as well as footwork and head movement. There's nothing against him. He has raw talent. He does have the heart when he actually wants to win. He did not show it against Ruiz, and that's how you know, in my view, that his head was not all there. But there are many things that he has to work on when it comes to craft. His feet are way too slow. His head movement is not as pronounced as it needs to be, especially throughout the fight against a fighter with craft like Andy Ruiz, who not only has a very good jab, but knows how to set up his combinations with feints, so on and so forth. I think that Anthony Joshua's fight weight is way too high. Just because you fight at heavyweight does not mean that you can come in at whatever weight you want. I think that for his body type, 230 would be the perfect fight weight for him. 247 is way too heavy for him. It makes him a lumbering heavyweight, easy to hit. And anytime that he gets in the ring with another heavyweight fighter who has a good jab and can follow that jab with a great right hand, he's going to get badly hurt. So if he's able to reclaim his three belts in the rematch against Andy Ruiz, hopefully he works on those things because if he gets hit with a right hand from Deontay Wilder, he's out of there. He's out of there. Well, one of the best fighters of the last 20 years, Andre Ward, is going to concur with my assessment. He's going to pretty much parrot many of the things that I stated in my aftermath video on the Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz heavyweight title match. So, of course, they're going to talk about it and I'm going to chime in. Craig, Joshua just got knocked out. I know that there was some talk about you and Anthony Joshua at one point, which seemed crazy. Number one. Let me say this very quickly before Max Kellerman and, uh, and Andre Ward continue, because Andre has this look on his face like, yeah, you know, that could have been me. And he's pretty much going to say that in a moment. I like Andre Ward. OK, I do. I think that he's one of those fighters who has mastered the basics, his mastery of the basics is so elite that he's able to bore people to sleep in many of his fights. He does not even have the flash of a Floyd Mayweather who often has been accused by many casual boxing fans of being quote unquote boring. Andre Ward <laughs> makes Floyd Mayweather look like Sugar Ray Robinson and Muhammad Ali combined in one. Nothing against the brother. I like watching him fight because I appreciate the wrinkles of the sport of the quote unquote pugilistic science or sweet science per se. But for him to basically sit there and act as if he was going to do the same thing to Anthony Joshua if he had the opportunity, I'm just not buying it. Andy Ruiz is a real heavyweight. He's a real heavyweight who's been fighting in that division for his entire career. I just don't see Andre Ward having the power to be able to keep Anthony Joshua back. I don't doubt that he would have been able to connect. But Andre Ward's frame, what is he like, six feet and a half, six one maybe on a good day? I could see him possibly filling out to about 210, 215. Is that going to be enough to be able to impact Anthony Joshua with his punches, to keep Anthony Joshua off of him? Andre Ward also is a fighter who's known for getting hit flush on the jaw. I mean, it's nothing against him. He has great defense, but he can get caught. We've seen Kovalev catch him. In both their fights, he was getting caught by Kovalev. In other fights, he was getting caught by Kovalev. Would he have the dexterity of foot movement with 215 pounds on him to stay away from an Anthony Joshua who's focused and in shape to come against him. I would not even want to see Andre Ward in a fight against Anthony Joshua. That would just be too much. In order for you to move up from middleweight or super middleweight and challenge for a heavyweight title fight, you have to be a non peril natural athlete like a Roy Jones. That's the only guy who's pretty much been able to do it ever because of the level of natural athleticism that he had. Andre Ward does not have that. You're regretting that because someone else got to him? Number two, now that Ruiz has belts, now that Usyk, who's a cruiserweight moving up, may fight Ruiz, are you thinking about coming back for the heavyweight championship of the world? Don't do that, Max. Don't do that, Max. Andre Ward, stay home and be a family man. I thought about it for a hot second. I thought about it. Um, I did. I'm glad that the next second was cold. Joshua on my radar. After Kovalev 2, I had a three-fight plan before I decided to retire. Now with the tune-up fight back at home, 
cruiserweight fight in the UK, and then we're going for Joshua. Because that boy Ruiz got hands. He has very fast hands. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think his hands are faster than Andre Ward's. Let me wind this back a little bit. Ali Usyk, who's a cruiserweight moving up, may fight Ruiz. Are you thinking about coming back for the heavyweight championship of the world? Don't do that, Max. Don't do that, Max. I thought about it for a hot second. I thought about it. Um, I did have Joshua on my radar. After Kovalev 2, I had a three-fight plan before I decided to retire. Now, with the tuna fight back at home, cruiserweight fight in the U.K., and then we're going for Joshua. Because what you saw Ruiz do, I knew I could do that. This is why they say speed kills. <laughs> when fast fighters, extremely fast fighters in the heavyweight division get in there with those big lumbering heavyweights, they can have an impact. Think Chris Bird back in the day. Those guys, they can get a belt or two just off their speed, especially if you put them in there with big lumbering heavyweights like an Anthony Joshua. On way. It would have looked different, but I knew I could do that. <clears throat> but I don't want to take anything away from Joshua. Listen, he, he's a gold medalist. Um, he had three of the four belts. Uh, he's not as bad as everybody's starting to make him out to be. People, you know, when you, you learn a lot about people when you lose. Absolutely. And I stated that in my aftermath video on the Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz match. That that would be the best moment of his life, Anthony Joshua. Because he would get a chance to see who exactly was in his corner and who never was. When you don't look good, you, you, you see all the boo birds come out of the woodwork. He's the truth. He didn't get this far by not being the truth. He's just built all wrong. You know, you know he's got too much muscle mass. Thank you, sir. He's too worried about battle roping and lifting weights right. and, and, you know, looking like a model on Instagram. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Damn, he said looking like a model on Instagram. He went in. Being in the Let boxing gym. By the way, oh, no. he got oh, off no. out of four oh, knockdowns. No. He kept getting. Let the man finish. Why are you cutting off Andre Ward? Let the man go. The only person who should be cutting off Andre Ward in the middle of his talking is me. Be instead of being in the boxing gym working on his craft, there's Come no on. substitute for that. Can I, can I respond? Because I disagree with you. First of all, I, I want to say this. And I you can't be talking about my man Ruiz, uh, Ruiz like that. Saying, this is my, not my fault. He looked like a lot of people mad with that I, guy. I don't give a damn. I know you I, don't. All I said is this. I never... You got to respect my man. Let me say this. See, see, and that's where, but, and that's where I'm going. Hold on before we close the segment. That's exactly where I'm going. I got a problem with all of y'all with this. Number one, I said he looked like Butterbean. That's a fact. All right? That's a fact. I never... No, he does not look like Butterbean. <laughs> Andy Ruiz is about five times as talented as Butterbean ever was. Word about his skills, never, all right? And I had to educate him about that yesterday. I know the brother can box, I know he can fight, but he looked like Butterbean, damn it. Teddy Ashley said it best. He took physical fitness back a, a century, all right? That's number one. <laughs> number two, as much as, and as phenomenal and great as I think you are, I don't want to see you go from 175 to fight is somebody that's walking in the ring at 247. That's just me. They said the same thing about No, 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 I said, no, 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 Bro, <laughs> Stephen A. Smith is telling Andre Ward the truth, and Andre Ward says they said the same thing about Kovalev. Bro, Anthony Joshua is not Kovalev. I promise you that if Anthony Joshua got in the ring against you, he's going to be as sharp as he's ever been. And that might not even be half as sharp as you, but the difference in power and size would be so apparent. I just don't see Andre Ward winning that fight. If Andre Ward were to be able to defeat a heavyweight, automatically he becomes one of the top 10 boxers of all time with his frame and stature and lack of natural power once again roy jones had great natural power and even he really was not able to hurt john ruiz when they fought back how many years ago it was what probably almost 20 years ago when did they fight back in 03 so i guess what 16 years ago so perfect it ain't about me right now last point about this i get so tired of people sitting up there talking about you know what Disrespect you. you see people come out of the woodworks. No, Joshua can fight. The brothers got skills. We get all of that. The bottom line is I'm comparing you to your contemporaries. He's got a highly questionable jaw. Well, shit, I said that months ago. And a lot of the Anthony Joshua fans, they jumped in the comment section. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about, mate. You bloody fool and all this nonsense. And <laughs> lo and behold, the man has Amir Khan's jaw. That is a fact. And the reality is, is that when you think about him, 
You're not thinking about him against me or you or something. No, you think about him. All right, you were supposed to get in the ring against Walter. Lord have mercy. I'm not talking about Chris. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about Chris. This is probably the best thing that happened to Anthony Joshua because hopefully he can work on his crap before that Wilder fight happens because I don't think he's going to be able to improve his jaw. The man has a jaw of a newborn baby deer. Because if you lose like that and you're supposed to be the man, you should get criticism. I'm talking about the people coming out of the woodwork saying, oh, he's, he's trash. Joshua, no, that is, by the way, that's I'm not, not saying he's trash. Wilder I'm not saying, eventually... I'm saying the people that are saying. Right. Joshua Wilder will still eventually be a huge fight. Joshua, not the same. I don't, hey, know not Josh, the same. I don't even know not if Joshua will be the underdog by the time that fight's made. That these guys are top yeah, heavyweight boxing go. guys can get yeah, knocked out. Wilder with a heavy favorite belt. All right, give it up for Andre Ward, everybody. I agree with Max Kellerman. Max Kellerman's basic point to end the segment is that when you're talking about guys 6'2 to 6'5, 6'6, 230, 250 pounds, they can get knocked out. But I don't think that Anthony Joshua just got knocked out. I believe that he lost and got knocked out because he was not focused. That was the major problem. But once again, just getting back to the point, Andre Ward basically reiterated what I stated. That being that Anthony Joshua is concerned about the wrong things. He's concerned about looking like a fitness model. And most great boxers don't have fitness model bodies. They're ripped. Many elite boxers are ripped. But it's very obvious that he's more concerned about how he's going to look, as Andre Ward stated on the gram, than how he's going to look in the ring. But anyway, peace.